Junie B. Jones smells something fishy by Barbara Park. Pet Day, Chapter One. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. And guess what? Guess what else? B rhymes with P, and P stands for pet. And pet reminds me of what happened at my school today. First, I was sitting at my table doing my work, and then all of a sudden, my teacher stood up and she clapped her hands loud together. Her name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Boys and girls, may I have your attention, please? She said. I've got some very exciting news. Next week is National Pet Week, and to help celebrate our wonderful pets, Room 9 is going to have a pet day. I springed up from my chair, real thrilled. Hooray, people! Hooray, people! We're going to have pet day! I shouted. My feet skipped all around the room, because they wanted to spread the news. That's why. Pet day! Pet day! Day. We're gonna have a pet day. Charlotte! I hollered. Pet day! We're gonna have a pet day! Jabal! We're gonna have a pet day! We're gonna have a pet day! You too, Jimmy! The one I hate! And just then, Mrs. grabbed me by my suspenders. Spenders is the grown-up word for the straps that hold your pants up. I looked around, very worried. Yeah, only here's the problem, I said. If you pull off these spenders, boom, the pants fall down. Mrs. did a frown at me. Sit down right now, she said real scary-like. I did a gulp. Well, do, no, I said. And then I hurried up back to my seat, and Mrs. went to the front of the room again. And she told us all the rules about pet day. She said that pet day will be next Monday, and if you have a cat or a dog, you can bring in his picture. And Mrs. will hang it on the bulletin board. But please, boys and girls, no cats or dogs at school, okay? The only animals you can bring to school are pets in cages. I springed up again. Whew! That was a close one, I said. Because I have a dog named Tickle. And at first I thought I could only bring in his picture. But now I'm going to bring him in a dog cage. Mrs. shook her head. No, Junibe, I'm afraid you don't understand. No dogs or cats will be allowed at school at all. Not even if you bring them in cages. I'm going to decorate a special bulletin board for all the dogs and the cats and their pictures. I hanged my head real disappointed. Shoo! I said. Because a dog's picture, that isn't even fun. That's why. And just then my bestest friend named Grace waved her hand in the air. Can I bring my goldfish slicky? She asked. Is a fishbowl the same thing as a cage? Mrs. Smiled. Yes, Grace, a goldfish will be just fine. And after that, my other bestest friend named Lucille raised her hand too. Teacher, guess what I'm going to bring? I'm going to bring a picture of my new pony. And also I'm going to wear my expensive new riding outfit. That way everyone will see how cute I look when I ride. Mrs. stared at Lucille for a very long time. <laughs> uh, what a treat that will be, she said finally. Lucille poked me with her finger. I can't wait for pet day. Can you, Junie B? Just wait till you see how cute I look in my riding boots. <sighs> I didn't say anything back. She poked me again. Pet day is going to be fun, don't you think, huh, Junie B? Don't you think pet day is going to be fun, don't you? Don't you? And just then I leaned real close to her face. Do not poke me one more time. And I beat it. I grouched. What is so fun about bringing a dog picture, huh? Lucille, what's so fun about that, huh? Huh? After that, I put my head on the table and I covered up with my arms and I didn't come out till the end of school. Chapter 2, The Secret About Twitter. 
Me and that Grace rode the bus home together. I did not speak to that girl, because she kept on being happy about Slicky. And so what kind of a crummy attitude is that? I walked in my house real glum. Grandma Helen Miller was babysitting my baby brother named Ollie. Uh-oh, looks like someone had a bad day at school, she said. I raised my hand very weakish. B, Grandma, it was me. I'm the one who had the bad day. After that, I gave her a paper from my teacher. It was the rules about pet day. Grandma Mella put Ollie in his swing. Then me and her sat on the couch, and I waited while she read the paper. Oh, dear, she said. You can't take tickle, can you? I shook my head real gloomy. Not even in a cage, I said. <sighs> Where's the justice here, Helen? I asked. Grandma smiled very understanding. Then she gave me a hug. And she said, don't call her Helen. I don't know what to tell you, sweetie, unless you get another pet before pet day. I guess you're just going to have to accept this. <laughs> My eyes started to cry a teeny bit. But mother and daddy won't buy me another pet, Grandma, because I already asked for a buddy and a goat and a bat and a rat, but they keep on saying no, 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 no. Grandma read the rules again. Uh, wait a second here. Why, why didn't I see this before? It says you can bring... A bird. I shrugged my shoulders. Yeah, so? So you can take my canary, she said. I'll let you take Twitter. I looked and looked at that woman. And then I patted her hand very nice. And I whispered a secret in her ear. Yeah. Here's the only problem, Grandma. I hate that dumb bird. Grandma Miller looked surprised. You hate him? You hate Twitter? She asked. I showed her my finger. He pecked me, Grandma. He pecked my finger, remember that? And I didn't even do anything to that guy. Grandma Miller made squinty eyes at me. You put a potato on his head, she said. I would have pecked you, too. <laughs> I smiled kind of nervous. Um, it was a hat. After that, me and Grandma Miller sat there kind of stiffish, and we didn't talk for lots of minutes, and finally I tapped on her. <clears throat> Do you have any other pets at your house, Grandma? Any pets I'm not aware of? Grandma Miller laughed a little bit. Not unless we catch that crazy old raccoon that keeps breaking into our garbage cans every night. <laughs> she laughed some more. And guess what? I laughed too. Because that woman is a genius, I tell you. Chapter 3, The Boss. On Saturday, I got, up, I got out of bed very thrilled. And then I run to the garbage. And I grabbed my daddy's fishing net, and I zoomed right into the kitchen. Mother was eating cereal. Mother, mother, guess why I have this fishing net? Guess, mother, guess, guess. I couldn't wait for her to guess. Because today's the day I'm catching that crazy old raccoon. Mother closed her eyes. No, Junie B. No. We already talked about this, remember? We discussed the raccoon at dinner last night. I smiled at her, very happy. I already know that. I already know we discussed the raccoon. Mother looked confused. But Daddy and I said, no, Junie B. We said you could not catch a raccoon. Raccoons have sharp claws and teeth, remember? Yes, of course I remember. That's how come I got this debt, Mother. See how long the handle is? Now I will be safe from him. Mother spelled the word no. N-O-O. 
No. I stamped my foot. Y E S. Yes, I said back. I have to bother. I have to catch a raccoon for pet day. Grandma Billa even said I could, and she's the boss of you. And just then a miracle happened. And it is called my Grandma Helen Miller walked right in my back door, and Mother looked up. Oh, it's the boss of me, she said, kind of grouchy. I run to Grandma very happy. Grandma Billa, Grandma Billa, I'm so glad to see you because Mother said I can't catch a raccoon, and so now you have to make her. I stood back to give her room. Okay, go. And then I waited and waited, but Grandma didn't do anything. Um, okay, go. Only just then I saw something that made me even happier. And it's called my grandma was wearing her fishing hat. My eyes popped out at that thing. Grandpa, hey grandpa, you wearing your fishing hat. And so that must mean you're going to the lake today. I quick ran to the front door. Is grandpa Bill going to the lake with you? Is he out there in the truck? I looked outside. Hey, he is Grandpa. He's out there in the truck. And I opened the door. Grandpa Miller. Grandpa Miller. Good news, Frank Miller. I can come to the lake with you, I believe, because there's lots. Of raccoons to catch up there by the lake. Even more than at your house, probably. I zoomed back to the kitchen. Here, Grandma, hold my raccoon net. I'm going to put on my clothes and be back at a Jiffy. Jiffy is the nickname for Speedy Quick. Grandma Miller grabbed me by my PJs. Um, no, honey, wait. I'm afraid you can't come with us today. We're meeting some friends and we're already late. We just stopped by to borrow your daddy's ice chest. Oh. Just then I felt very crumbly inside. Yeah, only I have to come, Grandma. I have to, or else how am I going to catch a raccoon today? Grandma Miller bended down next to me. Yes, well, that's another thing too, sweetie, about the raccoon. I was just kidding when I said that. Junie B, I never dreamed you were going to take me serious. And just then my nose started to sniffle. <laughs> yeah, well, you dreamed wrong, Helen. I said. Grandma Miller hugged me real tight. Oh, come on now, don't cry. There are lots of other animals you can catch for pet day. Animals that are much nicer than raccoons. I shook my head real fast. No, there are not, Grandma Miller. You're just saying that to trick me. And then I stood there and stood there for a long time. Because what if she wasn't tricking? What if there really was lots of other animals? Finally, I did a dig, big breath. Okay, tell me the other animals, but this better be good, Grandma Miller. Mm -hmm. Grandma Miller did a smile. You wait right here, she said. Then she ran out to her truck and back again. She was hiding something behind her back. Junie B, I've got something. I've got someone who would love to meet you. Close your eyes and I'm going to put him in your hand. Ooh, my tummy got butterflies in it. What is it, Grandma? What is it? Is it gonna, is it gonna tickle me? Am I gonna like it? It won't bite me, will it, Grandma Miller? Hi, it won't right bite me, will it? And then I closed my eyes real tight and my grandma opened up my fingers and she put the surprise right in my hand. Ew, yuck, it's a worm. It's a worm, Grandma. Get it off me. Get it off of me right now, I yelled. And Grandma Miller quick took back the worm. For heaven's sakes, Junie B, what in the world is the matter with you? It's just a baby earthworm. Look how teeny he is. This little fellow would make a wonderful pet. Ugh. I did a huffy breath at her. Yeah, all the worms can't be pets. Grandma. Pets have fur so you can pet them, and worms just have ooey-gooey skin. Grandma Miller looked surprised at me. Don't be silly, she said. Not all pets have fur. My bird Twitter doesn't have fur, and he's a pet. And goldfish don't have fur, and hermit crabs don't have fur, and lizards don't have fur, and... 
Ugh, I covered my ears with my hands. Okay, okay, enough with the fur, Grandma. But worms don't have eyes or ears either, and they don't have legs or tails or feet or necks, and they don't chirp or bark or cluck or meow. And so what kind of a stupid pet do you call that? Grandma Miller thought and thought, and then she smiled real big. I'll call that the kind of pet that won't wake up the neighbors or sniff the company or scratch himself silly. And after that, she stood up and she gave the baby earthworm to mother. I'll leave this little guy with your mother for now. You can think it over and see if you want to keep him. I'll check back with you later, Junie B. Then she kissed me on the head and she grabbed the ice che chest and she hurried out the door. Mother looked at the baby worm in her hand. My goodness, you are a little one, aren't you? She said. She got an empty mayonnaise jar out of the cabinet. She poked holes in the lid for air and she put the baby worm inside. Mother looked at him in there. You don't even know where you are, little fella, do you? I bet it's kind of scary in there all by yourself. And I turned my back on her because I knew what she was up to. That's why. You can't make me like him, mother. I said, nobody can make me like him. Of course not, Junie B, but just because you don't like him doesn't mean I can't like him. She talked to the worms some more. Hmm, maybe you'd be happy if you had some dirt to crawl around in. Let's go outside and see what we can do. And after that, Mother put on her jacket and she went outside and she digged in the dirt from her garden. She came inside and showed me that jar. It looked kind of cute in there. And there was a rock and a stick and a dandelion and some clovers. And I peeked at the baby worm. He peeked back, I think. Yeah, um, only I still don't like him, I said, kind of softer. I rocked back and forth on my feet. And anyway, even if I did like him, I don't know what worms eat. And so what would I even feed that guy? Mother ruffled my hair. Are you kidding? That's the best part about worms. They get all of their food right from the soil, Junie B. You don't even have to feed them anything at all. And just then, my baby brother started to cry. Uh-oh, the baby's crying, she said. Here, take this. And then she quick-handed me the jar, and she run right out of the room. And we'll find out the rest of Junie B and Pet Day tomorrow.